Ayo, Tux, the Wild West Detective here. Today I bring you another video to enjoy. It has been a while since we've had to do an actual video. I am so sorry for the wait. But before we begin, I'd like to ask you to subscribe and share this video with all your friends. Alright, with the basic stuff out of the way, let me explain today's video. Today's video is based off of some shorts I've seen on YouTube lately. And every time I watch them, I always feel great at the end. I'm usually pumping my hands in the air because of the excitement I received. These types of videos are called undercover kindness. The idea is that you pretend to be someone in need of something and ask someone if they can give you that thing. If that said person gives you said item out of kindness, you'll reward them with usually a bunch of cash or something else. I love these types of videos because it shows how being kind can sometimes reward you. But of course, being kind doesn't mean you should expect something back, but I think you get the point. Anyways, sorry for the long monologue. I just had to explain it. Big props to Jimmy Darts and MV Motivator for making these types of videos. Let's begin, shall we? So I wanted to start basic, so I only asked for about 4k. If I did any lower, people would just tell me to grind for it. I went into disguise to try and make sure no one recognizes me. I expected to ask around 10 to 20 people before I got an answer, but what I found truly just surprised me. The first person I asked said yes. This quickly made me realize that I either got a really good streak of luck, or this video was going to be really short. It was a little bit of both you could say. Let's continue. After a little bit of cleanup duty, me and this kind person went into the black market and, well, did the deal. I received the cash, then I surprised him with the reward. Just for some more info, I didn't expect to get a large reaction because 50k isn't life changing in the Wild West. It's a good boost though. After seeing the first person, as stated before, I thought this was going to be a cakewalk, so I packed my bags in that server and went to the next one to find my next kind soul. <laughs> the results of this server was also a success. My mind was blown away. I did the same thing as last time. I asked the person if they could spare some cash for a gun I've been saving up for. They initially said that they were too poor for it, and of course, I understand. After standing there for a little bit longer, I was checking Discord. I came back and they said that they could actually spare me 1k. I know 1k isn't that much, but for someone who is already poor to say that they could spare 1k, I was more than happy enough to give them 50k. They gave me a legendary pelt, and I said to hold on to it and head over to Porto. Since they couldn't afford the trade fee, I gave them some stuff to sell. At the end of that trade, I said keep being kind and have a great day. At this point, I was on a winning streak, but instead of winning, I was receiving kindness. But I knew my quest wasn't over just yet. I still had some cash left, so I ventured ahead. The next server I joined, I was happy, but not satisfied enough. So as the rat I am, I scurried my character to the next person in bronze. They have no idea what's about to happen. I did the same thing as before, same lines and everything. You get the point. As soon as I expected them to say no, they said yes. It was an unbelievable sight to see. A triple whammy out of the park. They said they didn't play much and could only give 2k. But the fact that they were kind enough to give any cash is enough to satisfy me. Since I was acting like a noob, I asked, where do we go for such transactions? And I got my answer. We went to Porto and did the deed. We had a little bit of trouble with the trade system, but I got bored of waiting and revealed myself. It was out in the open. I was Detective Tux. I put in the 50k and told them it was theirs. They didn't want to accept it at first, but I kinda insisted, and the 50k went through. Feeling pretty satisfied, I took a glance at my cash amount, and that satisfaction went away. I need to get rid of my cash. So I asked the next person I went to. No answer. My first loss, I was devastated. But alas, I couldn't give up. I went to the next person. My identity was revealed, so I uh, quickly left. At this point, it was getting pretty late, but I couldn't give up. Next person declined. Person after that, no answer. I gave up, but I couldn't. My body wouldn't let me. So I started thinking of ideas of what I could do with the rest of my cash. I didn't want it to just sit there. Then an idea popped in my brain. Just watch and see. That's right! I was going to give the rest to my staff. They had the option of choosing to take the money or pass it on and add 20k to the total amount. 
We had eight checks by the end. My patients ran out. Let's see how they each responded. They all decided to pass it on. That means one thing. They split the money evenly among themselves. I told them to join my game and get paid. So a few of them joined. And a few of them got paid. The rest will receive their money later on. Well, that's about the end of this social experiment. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and share with your friends. Also make sure to check out my newly created second channel. Link in the description. And with that... Could this be a fluke or something more? Keep on searching, detectives! And remember, there's always something to uncover in the Wild West. <laughs>